Welcome back, people. Jason Walker Better 4 here, back with another episode of Brew Barons. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna fire up our plane and we're gonna go collect some resources and whatnot. First, before we go to that whatever that is. The pelican and pipe or whatever. I think that's what they called it. Anyways. Uh let's see. Engine startup. All based on the red, red, uh, red, red bolt scanner. Come on, let's get off the ground and go find us some resources. <clears throat> these tiny little planes aren't going to be. These little planes are obviously aren't going to be all that great, but they're small enough that they can actually be used for some pretty good stuff. Let's just go over here and see what we can find. This boost is going to be very effective. Now we're only at 58, so we're going to need a good bit more. Obviously, this isn't going to be the only thing. We're going to run all over this side and see what all we can pick up. What's this? Can we actually do this? Engaging turbo speed. Are you okay? Maybe let's ease off the boost for a bit. Stat report. Moderate damage. We're gonna come in 
for a nice soft landing here. I can see a few scrapes. Let's try to be a bit more careful with the plane. So, we're gonna need some serious hardware if we're gonna get the whole bent heavy based stuff. So we're gonna need some serious materials here. Obviously, we're gonna wait a bit for the, us to do that. We need a good bit more materials before we can do anything. And we probably need to take some contracts, obviously. But first, we're gonna go around to the Pelican place and see what we can see, see what kind of job we can get. I talk to the people. Hello. Talk Welcome to, the, to the Pelican and Pipe. Peter's the name, though some call me Old Man McGee. Fancy a pint, or you're just gonna gawk about? Ah, that's the good stuff. Nothing beats a good pint of prickly beer. It's hard to get one round these parts. That's why I opened this place. No. Well, as a matter of fact, I am. Of course, normally I'd get my stock imported from Old Blighty, but times are tough. Still, you seem like a reliable chap, and we're basically neighbors, so I'll give you a chance. I'll draw up a contract right away. Just to get you started, here's a recipe for a brew we like around here. Of course, you don't have to follow it exactly, but it should give you an idea to begin with. Nice. A uh, blueprint is always advised, and I will do everything. Make sure you deliver on time, though. I've no patience for contract breakers. And be sure the quality is good. I've got standards to maintain. He's a tough client. I'll have to make sure I sell to him good. Looks like we've received our first contract. Next time we dock, we can open the contract and read the details. Well... We need to, uh, well, as of right now, we actually need wheat, so. Let's 
Time to go for a dive. I mean, obviously, I'm going to try to get as much out of the fields as I can. Light collision. Damage sustained. Stat report. Moderate damage. The plane appears to be stuck. Let me fix this. Quack, quack. Leash. They said be careful with those wheat fields. They weren't kidding. One wrong move and you're liable to just tip over. When the notification panel in the HUD shows up like that, it means there's something we should attend to. In this case, we can manage our delivery contracts by pressing the Brew Contracts button on the docking menu. Let's do that now. Here we have all of our contracts with the newest outlined in green. Once you accept a contract, you are committed to delivering the full amount within the number of days on the contract. If you fail to do that, there are penalties, so don't accept a contract if you don't into But right now we need the cash, so let's go ahead and accept this one. Now that we've accepted the contract, it moves into the lower panel. Would you like an explanation on each field? First is the name of the bar to deliver to. Don't worry if you forget the name. There will be an indicator on the map to... Next is the category of drink. Next is the number of brews required. This is the minimum required quality. This is the desired main ingredient of the brew. It's okay to include other ingredients too, as this is the min and max alcohol content our brew must be between. Don't go outside. Lastly, there's the num- Well, that's just about all there is. Alright, let's see. Now that we have an accepted contract, First, let's start by opening the contract panel. In the Accepted Contracts panel, at the end, there's a button which will pin the contract in the brewery. Just click that button now. Great. We've pinned the contract. Listed here is our main ingredient and the required type of brew. Now let's see if we have a recipe for that brew. Here's all the recipes we've collected so far. You can pin any one of them for easy reference by clicking them. Let's find a recipe for our desired brew type, made from our desired ingredient. You don't have to use a recipe from the book. If you're feeling lucky, you can try experimenting, but recipes are a more reliable method. Hopefully we can find more recipes as we explore the bay. The rest is up to us. Happy brewing. I 
it looks like this is the only one I have that I'll actually be considered beer. Looks like I need to actually go out and find uh, more wheat in the field. I need more wheat if I'm going to actually be able to do anything significant. That was very kind of the farmer to donate his water bombing equipment. I'm sure we it's installed on the second. Just use the secondary if we have more than one secondary. At some point, we should give it a try and water. Coming in for a bombing run. Two, two, four, launch. Turret success. Go back in for a pickup. Now, I gotta actually take my city seriously. The bombs are fun and all, but I need to actually try to get close to the grind and mow down more of this weed. I need to go find a new wheat field to work on. It won't be that way for long, because eventually I'm going to get a steam-powered plane. I feel like that would be more efficient, because steam power is something I can actually work with.
it's hard to go drop all this stuff so we can go find more. Right now I'm only worried about collecting stuff. I have five days to deliver the get the stuff ready. It makes sense that we, it'd be best for us to go to this side of the island and see if we got more wheat filled somewhere over here because I need more wheat if I'm going to be able to make a substantial amount of this stuff. to get a more or less straight pass. I'm going to try to go in for more straight passes. Now I'm going to see if I can pick up a whole field worth of prickly weed. successful. Gotta go back around for another pass. Light collision. Damage sustained. Not much though. We're fine. For now. Power! I wonder what would happen if I tried to water bomb a tree. I wonder if that would actually work. Alright, I'm gonna head on back now. Engage water boost. I do need the money. <laughs> That's why I'm really kind of hoping for this brew to work out and be, you know, the brew that I need.
Fuck. Yeah, I don't like this. That you don't have control over it even while there's bros sitting in there. That's just fucking stupid. Alright, so this is a continuation of the last episode because I had some issues with it because I got stuck on this screen after I had I put in the stuff because I was trying to get the damn contract so I could pin the fucking contract and it wouldn't let me damn well do the thing. Minimum. Maximum. I really hope this will work because honestly I really am a little worried about it. Why is it Lager? That doesn't make any sense. Set it in the kitchen or something, or put it in where I can. Why are you gonna have to go drag it out of somewhere? Okay. It has to be beer, but I don't know how to make beer. Because, well, whenever I did the thing, it ended up as this. Wispy wheat. I was using prickly. But then I fermented? Why did it become the, the lager? What? What? Oh. Oh, it is beer. Uh, it is beer. Never mind. False alarm, people. False alarm. I thought it was something different.
go back up to the brewery. Contracts. Whack. Okay, so it has to be at least above 2%. I thought they said 29 for a second there. Basically, basically, almost at our maximum here. So we gotta go to the th pick, uh, the pelican pipe first, and then the thirsty sailor after that. I'm all old girl. Let's get fired up. We're not gonna fly. We're just gonna kind of chill on the water. About time you showed up. We're all pop. Let's get this delivery. Whoa, this smells a bit fishy. I'm not sure the Panthers will go for this. Well, that's the lot. Contract complete. Eh, it 
it's not hey, it's not exactly perfect. I still got a I'm long. not sure those brews were really all that good. I hope they don't give us a bad review. Dude, well, <laughs> I'm not exactly the best brewer. Hell. I usually try to stay away from brewing games, so I just thought I wanna I thought I'd give this game a shot. And maybe I I might eventually improve if I get some practice in. But most likely I'm gonna end up sticking with cider, because cider's something I can actually do. More or less. so I can actually get the stuff. Good timing. Come in. I was. Let's take a look. I see you haven't managed to work out how to make a tasty brew. Well, the contract is complete. I'll let you know when I. Need... Mm. I need to look at my. I'm not sure those brews were really all that good. I hope they don't give us a bad review. Yeah, I know. I need it. I'm gonna go about collecting some more uh, materials now, and I'm gonna collect more apples, and I might do some of those blueberry th uh, grapes. I think I think it's grapes. I might see if I can incorporate that into my cider next time. It might give it up a little bit of a tang, maybe. I don't honestly know though. I don't really know that much about beer making and how to do it correctly, so I'm just kind of, honestly, as far as I'm concerned, I'm just kind of screwing around. I'm just kind of screwing around, honestly, because I really don't know what I'm doing as far as making beer. Exactly efficient, so I'm probably just not going to do that. All right. 
let's go and play the more of this. Sadly, I don't actually know how to use my winch. to Mrs. Arkwright from across the street. You remember her young... Yes, I remember Lizzie from school. Well, so anyway, her eldest, Simon, well, he became an engineer, and it turns out he's an expert in shortwave radio, and he had a spare one. So I asked if we could borrow it, and he came around and set it up for us. He's such a lovely young man and so polite... No, I didn't, Mom. He's creepy, and he used to put dead insects in my backpack. Your father and I were a bit worried about you flying around in that dangerous-looking machine. So we'll just give you a call from time to time. Um, not really, Mom. We need to keep the radio. Good. Well, that's settled then. Now I really must be going. It's the church bridge club. Uh, something tells me she's going to be calling way too often. Damn. Burn. <laughs> you don't like your mom calling. <laughs> Dare Oh, God. To the no, man. no. I already told you the air conditioning unit is located in the back entrance. You... Oh, wait. You're not the repairman I'm expecting. Sorry. You've shambled into the Bank of Veli, provider of fiduciary services to select individuals of high net worth. I am Mortimer. It's rather simple, really. Should you ever encounter an expense but lack the sufficient funds to secure the transaction, I step in and loan the amount needed to complete it. Though I recommend you only do this on expenditures of great importance that are critical to your business. Each loan comes with a due date that must be paid at my bank. Do see to it that you pay it off on time, or there will be repercussions. Should that happen, perhaps I'll pluck some brews of my choice from your establishment to compensate for any tardy loan payments. But let's not let it come. Ugh, you sound just like my wife. Have you no clue of who you're talking to? I don't have time for petty gossip. If you wouldn't mind dressing a bit more appropriately next visit, I'd much appreciate it. Your oily flight overalls might leave stains on the furniture. Luckily, I will not be coming back. I'm good. I'm pretty sure I can make enough money off of this small-time business ventures to make all the money I need. Well, I intend to make an apple cider mixed with uh, I'm going to try one mixed with the grapes, and then I'm also going to try one possibly with potatoes or hops. 
but I'm not sure. I feel like that'd be a weird. An apple, apple potato drink? I feel like that would just taste downright strange. I feel like it would be disgusting, honestly. Now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like that would be disgusting. Ugh. I don't even know how, I don't, I'm not a drinker, I don't do that, but even I think that just sounds wrong. It sounds wrong. No, not abhorrent, just wrong. I'm not gonna diss it or whatever until it's been tried, but I just, it, it doesn't sound normal, so I'm not exactly sure about it. But I'll probably do the apple and grape one, honestly. I feel like I should test it out in my own bar and see what the people of my own bar think about the drink beforehand. Put a few, like, ten drinks of this choice into my place and see what they think. Let's do a good old fancy bottle then for this. Let's see what we're gonna get. We're gonna we need to go to the hangar so we can see about getting ourselves a uh
perform a rapid emollient turn. Eights can take a hit on a power boss towards money. To lower your health, the more large the amount of missed shots should cause pilot to be. Anyways, I think that'll do it for this episode of Brew Bear. And so if you liked it, please do leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you again in the next one. Peace.